Uh, no. Okay, graph all the way from 0 to 360. All right, so there will be two complete cycles. The reason I did this is because I will do on your test. I want to have four answers. I like that. Okay. All right, so can I get where we start out here? Seven, eight. This is legit. Okay. Uh, Atlanta, can you give me something with this graph that I need, please? or something else, please. Uh, Hannah, something else, please. Now, if you notice, I'm trying to see stop point there. If you notice, never actually need this period until this point, okay, when we're, when we're solving here, okay, so, um, alright, Oscar, where else do I know? and be nice on this test, but I'll try and make your shift the existing one to the action point. So it's not fair to have like the points in between the action points like those are pretty good. Alright, Adria, when time start out, please. Okay, so I would recommend you to do this immediately on your paper or on graph paper. I prefer Liam if you did it on graph paper, mm -hmm. but if you left your textbook or notebook at home and have to do it, um, then so do it. Start doing our graph here. I want to just get from 0 to 360. Again, just a reminder on these graphs, if you want to go further than 0 to 360, you can, you have to go at least to 0 to 360. Now the reason is we're solving our algebra from 0 to 360 in about 30 seconds here. Okay, so we'll do that. Any more questions? Yeah, we're still going to go from 0 to 360. We're still going to go to 360. What are we next, please?
floors up here. easier to line it up properly. Right. Is there any trash load of marks on these ones? Yeah. Yes, you're not okay. you're not gonna do a graph like this. Like yeah, don't do that. The action points are there, what happens after that then? Yeah. 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 So I'm going to put a shift here. Very good. You're right. Okay, so what that means is instead of your graph starting at zero degrees, it's going to start at 45 instead. All right, Jennifer, try and start with the axis. So what's my first point going to be? What number one? 45 and 1. Thank you. So there's going to be the first point. Now the reason it's there is that it is on the axis, okay, uh, which is 1, and it's shifted 45 to the right. So instead of being at 0 and 1, it's going to be 45. Yes? Can would start, like, the way you graph can, if you ever do it, is you draw the point in the middle, and then it's like an exponential, where it's just going to go up like this on the one side, down like this on the okay. other. So you can't really... But so in this... Yeah, not with the entire thing. No, I would not do that. All right, Adam, what's my next point, please? Next point, please. Yep, 984 up there. Okay. So 984 is going here. Okay, one more. Uh, Sarah, what's the next one going to be? All right, before I draw, draw this graph, Julie, I have to check on you. I said I wanted to go from 0 to 360, so what's my point at 0, 1 degree? Well, what's your option? My options are 4, 1, and negative 2. Those are your three options. That's going to be enough. Those two, right? So the idea is here the pattern should continue on. That's the idea. And there's your graph. Okay, so the question was, why do we do that? Okay, the graph says the graph is 0 to 360. Okay, so Susan says the graph is 0 to 360. Susan says the graph goes from 0 to 360. Okay, I'm just seeing what the paper says. The paper says graph is 0 to 360. But the shape is 45. Graph from, I'm telling you, graph from 0 to 360. The point I'm having is the shift is going to affect the graph. Yeah, it's going to get Okay, yeah. so that's kind of Okay, other than complaining, so I don't have any other questions. Of course, thank you. So how do you know if I just shift it on the graph? If I was just to look at that, okay, how, would first, I how, would, how would you know that the shape is looking at the graph? Walk your hands. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I figured it out <laughs> after I asked it. <laughs> go ahead. How do I shift between cycles that never get past the middle? Okay, good question. The two complete cycles would be it's starting at the bottom, that's the start of your cycle. Right? So the start of your cycle is here, that's one, and that's two. Right? So that's really that's oh, the point. Oh, it's the line kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, with the shift and all that stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. Our, now that the complaints are hopefully over. Any more complaints? The graph is not good. It's not. I get okay, I stop. Okay, let's keep going here, okay? Okay, so the question was, I'm going to take this one though. The question is, what happens to the lines of straight through will be incorrect? Please delete me from curves. It's like if you were to draw a parabola like this, this is not a parabola, right? Right? And like there, that's not a parabola. The same thing, that's not, this is not a sine graph. That's an angry person. That's what that is, okay? <laughs> so please don't um, draw that. You guys are getting way off task here. Okay, let's go. So part B says solve.
Saul will be king equals three times two theta minus three pi plus one times zero two theta. Okay, now this is challenging, okay? So please put a star in the heart beside this question. Okay, and this one is where we're going to get a little bit tricky here. All right, now, the first step here finally is going to be what? Let's find out what 2 equals 3x plus 1. Let's put a check there. It certainly works, okay? So I'm going to call that 1 equals 3 at 0. Actually, maybe before I do that, I'll go back to my graph. What I'm looking for for my answers, same thing we were saying yesterday, is I want to find out this number, this number, this number, and that number. So what I want to know is the four times on my graph, what the y value is going to be for this, and that's what you get. Not always one. There could be more, there could be less. I just happen to, in this case, be like 100 degrees, okay? So if your graph, if I were to do this graph with you in 720, like there'd be four more during each step, right? So basically, just as a reminder from yesterday, there's always going to be two answers in one period. So in this case, we're going to say it was 180. So there's going to be two answers to 0 to 180, and then another two answers from 180 to 0. So within every period, there's two answers. Okay. So is that why the case of extension is not similar? Like, in theory, you could say that n is an answer to n, right? Which I just thought it'd be yeah. nice to say there's no answer to the n. Well, what would happen if you said there's some kind of theory? You would get all right. Yeah. What would happen if we end up trying to solve sine of theta to 0 to 1.5? Then we're not getting the right answer. Okay, let's keep prepping here, please. Uh, Tristan. Can you please? Oh, my. No, you're back. Can you please <laughs> tell me the next step here, please? Huh? The next step here is what? Yes, that's right. Rob, the next step here is what, please? Yeah, it's good. Now, this is the thing I was trying to get you guys to do yesterday. I'm freaking out again. Okay, Rob, can you please use the power of your calculator to tell me what sine inverse of one third is? Yeah. Uh, if you want to, that's fine. I wouldn't be sine 45, it'd be sine bracket 2 theta minus 1. Okay, there you go. Well, because it's not sine, it's not sine this, it's sine of that. It's like a function, right? Like it's not like you're doing like sine times theta times 45. It's like sine of the whole function. Yeah. Yeah. Just wait until it's wait until it's over. Yeah. So go ahead and pay. Can we please refocus here, guys? Okay. Okay. So now is the time that you're going to do or. Obviously, this is how we're going. 180 minus 19.47 equals 2 theta minus 45. The rule is, as soon as you do sine inverse, that's when you split apart the two sides. So right at that exact moment, okay? Before you divide by 2 and before you do all that stuff, okay? So it's that exact moment, right? Uh, on the left-hand side, Matt, you're up. Let's solve for theta on the left-hand side. What do we do? Divide by 2. Add to 2 down to 0. on the left-hand side again, what's the next step? Yeah, I, I can't do that in my head. It's like 54 plus 17, is that still? 54 left over? Yeah. All right, so 
this one. Let's keep working down the left hand side of the page. Or let's go back to my diagram first of all. I solved this angle right here. That's what I just solved. So that's just the third degree of the triangle. Professor, how do I get another angle? Good angle. Why tag 180? Awesome, wonderful. Again, back to my diagram here. That's now going to be this. So then we have two things. Right, so again, this is the idea of creating them. This one's moving upwards to get to 54. This one again is moving upwards to get to 234. Yeah? Okay, so I'm 180 minus. Okay. And this is where the 180 minus comes in this one. Okay, and then the idea of the first one we're adding the same number. Instead of three being three sixty like we did before, this is the same one being the same. So the idea we keep every one eighty and once we get to the end of the same. Let's do the same thing on the right hand side now. Okay. Can you please do 180 minus 19.47, please? Okay. Paul, you're not done yet. Get the next step to solve this data. Okay. You're not done yet. What you're doing is you solve. Oh, the other way. Here, sorry, yeah. What we did is we already solved the upward moving angle here. So I did the same thing. We solved the downward. We solved the downward here. Okay. So what we did was originally we branched out and did 180 minus. As soon as we moved sine inwards, we branched out to the other side. Okay. And then we're going to go solve for it. Hopefully. The idea is it's not this angle that you're the 180 minus, it's whatever you take the sine of as the way of going. So it's not 180 minus the theta, it's 180 minus whatever. <laughs> right, that's the yes, you can do it at whatever degree you want. Okay, so again, so the theta is in this little triangle over here. As soon as you do sine inverse, that's when you split apart to the second triangle. Okay. So before you do the, um, the two theta, to all the alphas, as soon as you bring them across. Okay, Brad, can you solve this, please? Where are you next? Okay, in the same time. And again, to finish up. We'll do a few of these today, you might be able to feel better. So let's go to a graph to make sure these answers make sense. 125 is going to be a little bit less in here. And what if I have something here? I know, I'm very lucky I get to choose, choose what my exact number is. It's probably my most difficult. So what I did was here, let's just for the minute, let's throw it down with that. Let's just pretend this was equal to um, sine inverse of one third was equal to beta. Okay, right? Instead of that and that two things. Yeah. Okay. So let's say beta equals 19.47 or beta equals 180 minus 19.47, right? So that's what we do. Okay, but beta isn't beta, it's actually this. So let's write this. Okay. We'll give a few more examples here. 
Yeah, we have a question. No, that's fine. As long as, long as, long as your block communication is a word question, then yes, you would have to, right? Just like it's a normal question. For word problems? Yeah, for word problems. Let's do a few more here. Do you want to know what's laughing or just laughing? No, we're just laughing. We're just laughing. All right. Why is everybody laughing? I'm going to hit pause on the video and then we'll come back. And I got.